Hey man, what's up? Haven't been doing so good. What's wrong? You know, I have this startup, but nobody wants to invest. I don't know what I'm gonna do. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. So if you're anything like me, you probably don't have a ton of money to burn on your startups. But I think that a good entrepreneur can take a small amount of money and make it go a long way. So in this video, NordVPN has given me $1,000 to work with. And I'm gonna be carefully investing into the various projects that I'm working on right now. And I'm gonna show you how to squeeze the value out of every dollar. First off, I'm going to be getting a domain name, ultrahosting.io. And this is not a new project, it's actually for a service that I've been running for over two years, 72dserverhosting.com. And I've kind of been neglecting it, even though it's been doing pretty well. So I had some ideas I wanted to test out and I needed the new domain for it. I'm also going to need some hand cream, because my hands are dry. Basically, my product is only applicable to players of this one game called Seven Days to Die. And the reason why I never expanded it to other games is because the game server industry is super, super competitive and I didn't want to get into it. But recently, I've had some ideas about how I could enter the market in a very unique way. And so I'll talk more about it in a future video if it works out. But for now, the most important thing for me is to figure out which game that I want to provide hosting for. Next. And I'm going to be doing that by making a bunch of landing pages. So that brings me to purchase number two, which is Instapage. Now Instapage is a ridiculously overpriced landing page builder at 199 bucks per month, but I'm okay paying that amount because I'm only going to be using it for about a month or so to test a bunch of different landing pages for different games and seeing both the conversion I get and how much traffic I can bring to it. Once that's done, I'm going to be building the real landing page for the real product by myself. So I'm not going to be continuing my subscription with Instapage after that. I think it's just worth it to pay a little bit more upfront because it saves me time since Instapage is very user friendly. And I kind of like the themes that they have. So I know it's not the best use of money, but I think it's worth it. Gotta make some avocado toast. Next up, I'm going to be paying for Google search ads. And I think a lot of people use Google ads wrong. So the main reason for using it here is because I have nine different landing pages and I want to see if I can spend the same budget marketing each of these landing pages, which one will get me the most signups. So Google ads is very, very, very good for that. I mean, I can put up a similar ad for each one and then just see, okay, for this game, how many signups I can get for this game, how many signups I can get and so on. And the other advantage of this is that people who search on Google for something they want, they actually want that. So like if they search Minecraft server hosting, they probably want to buy Minecraft server hosting. But if I'm just paying for Facebook ads or something and then a person sees it while they're scrolling through Facebook, it's just not as targeted. So I'm okay paying more for Google ads because I think the data is more accurate but it's not something that I'm gonna be doing to get traffic in the long term just because it's very expensive. I've allocated a daily budget of $10 for each of these ads, but I'm not actually gonna be spending exactly that amount because for Google, you don't actually pay for the ad unless somebody clicks on it. So Google will try its best to fulfill that $10 daily budget, but probably it's going to be a bit less, especially for games like Space Engineers, for example, where not that many people are searching for server hosting. For this video, let's just say that I'm spending $90 in total for Google Ads. I'm actually going to be spending less for this initial test because some of these landing pages are not going to get much traffic and therefore won't spend the total budget. But after I do this, I'm going to make some more ads to test out the differences between a few of the games which I think are more promising. So in total, I think I'll probably spend about 90 bucks. My next big purchase is a logo for ultra hosting. And if you're just starting a new project, you definitely shouldn't spend money on a logo. But I've been running 72D server hosting for over two years. It's generated over 50K 
and I'm still using a stock icon from flaticon.com. So I think it's time for an upgrade. I don't know, what do you think? I was looking through Fiverr and I found a guy whose portfolio I really, really like. So I'm gonna be paying for that. And hopefully I can show you the logo by the end of this video. Finally, I've really been wanting to get a prime lens for my camera so I can get that nice blurry background when it's just me talking. It looks like this and I really like it because it hides all this unnecessary stuff in the background while I'm talking. And speaking of hiding things, one thing that you'll probably want to hide is your private information. While you're using public Wi-Fi networks, and this is just one of the many use cases of NordVPN. So I'm actually a bit of a cybersecurity skeptic. I don't do as much as I probably should to protect myself online. So when NordVPN reached out to me, the sponsor of this video, well, I decided to put their product to the test. So here I am sitting in a coffee shop just doing my work and minding my own business like I usually do. Then like any normal person would do, I open up a program called Wireshark, which lets me see the data that's being passed around this public Wi-Fi network. So let's take a look at this publicly visible network packet over here. It seems to have a URL in it. I wonder where it goes to. Oh no, I have no idea what this is. It definitely isn't the logo that I just paid $300 for and was waiting to reveal at the end of this video. I wanted to point out that I'm only intercepting the traffic that's coming from my own computer because I don't want to do anything illegal and I'm also not a hacker so I don't know how to intercept other people's traffic but in theory, if someone knew what they were doing, as long as they're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, they would also be able to see the same data. Now let's connect to NordVPN. All the network packets which were previously visible in Wireshark under the HTTP protocol are now under the OpenVPN protocol. And if you take a look inside the packet, all the data is encrypted, so there's no more juicy information for an attacker to steal. If you want to try it out for yourself, I can get you 70% off of a 3-year plan with 4 months for free, just by going to nordvpn.org slash willquan with the coupon code willquan. Personally, I find this whole situation a little bit disconcerting as somebody who works out of coffee shops all the time. And I know some people say that, oh, HTTPS is enough because all your data is encrypted, but if you just Google it a little bit, I mean, there's a lot of loopholes behind that as well. So I think I will try using NordVPN if I'm on public Wi-Fi and I'm doing something such as making a purchase. That's nordvpn.org slash willquan with the coupon code willquan. All right, that's it. Now, how am I going to spend the rest of this money? Not doing so good. What happened? I'm smiling too much. <laughs>